is a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu da'eefu miskeen wa zalim wa jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence in the immensity of this path by its examples of its teachings. Naqshbandiya is and its mujaze, its miracle is knowledge. Others put swords in their lip or whirling and rising off the ground. Naqshbandiya's miracle is knowledge. And the purpose of these realities and these teachings to show us what we are capable of achieving. And what Allah wants to dress us of its realities and its blessings. So that we see a goal, we see a purpose, we see a, a light at this tunnel that I have to achieve these realities. Because he's talking about it, it must be achievable. We're not reading about, oh like all oh, thousand years ago people achieved these things. No, right now these people whom Allah dresses, they are achieving and as a result they're speaking. And these haqqaiqs that are coming out are a sign for those to run to achieve. That when we talked about ta'seen and the purified secret and the immensity of the Divinely fire that we are entering. It's a divine fire, it's a divine presence, it's a portal. That when we describe that Sayyidina Musa saw so the fire, the, lish, the bush where should have been a bush was ignited as a flame. What exactly did he see? What's important is that a different dimension opened in which he stepped into it and Allah began to explain all those around this tajalli, all those inside of this tajalli is a holy and is of a holy presence. Means entering into that Divinely Presence is a fire and the analogy of the fire that Allah wants for us it could have been anything. Imagine it could have been a rainbow, why the fire? Because Allah knows that He put upon this earth an enemy for you and me, us, is shaitan. And shaitan is a little flame of fire that his life is to run after you, to ignite us. And Allah wants for us to understand that that flame has to be conquered. If that fire comes and the person is combustible means that their, their physiology and their reality is not balanced. No excuses, there's no, nothing to, to be excused other than anger in Allah's way. Means if you see something that is completely against what Allah is against then that is a Divinely anger. So put all everything aside and what they want from us is that your characteristic to be balanced. And when you balance our system then that system is capable of holding Allah's Divinely fire. If it's not balanced then your path can be hundreds of years, Allah can give you lifetimes and nothing will be achieved. Means that's why our, our elements are all balanced. Allah give to us a water reality within ourselves. That is an angelic nature. Allah gives to us our earthly reality which is the clay and the earthly nature of our body. 
and Allah give to us a himmah and a zeal and that is the fire nature within us and also known that everyone has a jinn within themselves. And when perfected Allah will blow from His Spirit onto us. So then these elements have to be balanced. If they're imbalanced well they can become narani where they're just angry. If they're imbalanced they can become lethargic, they just sit and eat because their earthly energy is just too strong, they don't move anymore and they just sit and eat. They don't even move off their couch anymore, they call a button, the food comes to them and that's what shaitan wants to take people to that level in which they don't even move and their earthly nature overwhelms them or their fiery nature overwhelms them. And Allah gave these elements for us to master them, that you carry within you the great scale of Divine realities and that is your earthly nature. That ignite the watery reality within yourself and that should be your angelic reality. And because we are 70% water we have an overwhelming ability to be angelic. Allah tipped the scale, He could have made you Narani and 3% water or 10% water. He put 70% water in our system because the angelic reality of this water, angels are within the mind. So it means that if our nature is 70% water, that blood is, con is consistent of water, means that you have an angelic reality that can be overwhelming, your body can be angelic. If you give to that water its balance, its zikrs, all of its practices it will come to the earthly reality and make everything to grow and to flourish and they become green. So Sayyidina Khidr is the green shaykh because he represented his overwhelming ability to control his water element. And the result of his water element upon the earth, what happens with water hits the earth? Everything grows, it's so symbolic by the green. You'll grow, you'll be, you'll be of a natural reality of what Allah wanted. So when you have a strong natural reality that your control of your angelic reality by your spiritual practices, by all your activities, your balanced earthly reality that you're not going too deep into the earthly, you keep within a balance of your earthly element and then the tariqah comes then begin to train and practice your fire. If you can't control the fire element, that's when you see, you see those avatar cartoons, the kids were mesmerized by that because their innocence understood this is something from the heavens, they had just come from that location. Later you become 40, 50 years old, you give up all those fantasies, you say, no that was never real, it was just something. But when you're young you say, no I remember this, I'm, I'm excited about this reality, I have a memory of this reality. So what they were teaching is that all these elements have to be mastered. The fire is the most difficult element within our being and that's why Allah is describing that Divinely Presence, that portal that Sayyidina Musa saw of a fire, you have to be able to enter the fire. And who can enter the fire without f burning? قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُنِ بَعْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا Who's بَعْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا Say to the fire, be cool and peaceful. That's why we practice with that zikr. Every wudu, قُلْ يَا نَهْرُ كُنِ بَعْدًا وَالسَّلَامًا Give me control over my fire Ya Rabbi. Everyone has fire, everyone's going to get angry. It's a matter of how quickly you can douse the anger and bring it down. So that's why when you watch those cartoons you would see that they would train, the fire overwhelm and they bring all their fire out, that's Narani and a shaitan.
but the one in training knows the fire is coming because there are certain things that are going to ignite the fire and immediately makes their wudu, immediately makes their tafakkur and brings their water element, their angelic reality to be, be cool and peaceful because that water element is nourished by the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Qul ya nahru say to this nar kuni bardan was salam be from this element of insan having the ability to kun fayakun. Kuni bardan was salaman and whose bardan was salaman? Is Sayyidina Muhammad is the only thing, is the only reality, is the only light that can come to the satanic influence and overwhelm it and bring it down. You can't logic with shaitan, you can't talk with shaitan, you can't think with shaitan. It's when shaitan comes you're hit. Now what you gonna do with it? 99.9% .9 of this earth is going to be overwhelmed by it. If they have a gun they're going to shoot it. If they have a bomb they're going to explode it. If they have a knife they're going to cut with it because they gave themselves to it. All that being released upon this earth by the imitated who that has no care whatsoever about you. <laughs> that who hates you, <laughs> right? Watch, read his elements and his reports that there's six too many of seven of us. They have reports that are seven in the room, six of you have already been planned to be taken out. So who doesn't like you? So means everything they're doing is to put fire into you, put fire into you, fire into you until you become combustion, internal just ignite yourself and disappear. And they have like these YouTube channels where this, they don't understand what happened, the person they come back and there's like a burned body, burned ashes and they said, this guy internally combusted. So much fire within them they just ignited in the middle of the night. Completely the, the exact situation shaitan wants. So what he wants, he wants to cut off people's money, cut off people's work, cut off all of their hope, cut off everything and keep putting so much fire within them that they are gasoline and they And the dajjal system is to make people narani. And the more you allow yourself to be narani you are moving towards dajjal and that becomes your destiny. Many people know it, they seem themselves with dajjal. They think they can fight it but then fight it. Otherwise you give yourself to that destiny and that darkness and that fire becomes your path. And it's becoming more and more overwhelming, more and more overwhelming. So qadab is not something small, that's why they're describing Allah showing, come into this flame, come in. All whom are around that fire they're blessed. All within the fire are immensely blessed and because of the training all the things that come in them to make them to be angry they immediately train, they bring with their angelic reality, they bring the water element, their earthly element takes their fire, takes their water and as a result they are a balanced human being. And that is the great scale, they talk about the scale in the heaven. Everything in the heaven already in, in us, what do you have to worry about the heaven and to reach the Sirat al-Mustaqeem and to reach the great Mizan and reach Sidrat al-Munta, Allah just says, it's all within you. Reach it on earth and you'll have that guaranteed over there. If you can reach the Mizan here, your scale and balance your water, balance your fire, and every time you get angry balance it and calm it down no matter what the reason is. 
that is Allah's testing for you, balance it. If you're unable to balance it then what do you want from Sidratul Muntaha and heavens and paradise while you're fasting and praying, wasting your time? You're going to Jahannam anyways. What do you think it's going to get less? If a person giving themselves to anger and giving themselves to these elements, this fire is increasing. This is the last days. So when the fire comes, imagine angry people when they start to rage out onto the street, when they found out the moon was fake, Mars was fake, <laughs> everything was fake. Ooh, they, they have machetes lined up to run on the street. <laughs> You think there's a he heaven for this type of character? No. Because what's coming, the party that coming upon earth is a hell maker, hell raiser. Why are they call hell raiser? Because the destiny from Jahannam will come up onto earth. Those whom participate in it, they are from it and there's no paradise from that point. That's why the intensity of these teachings they're putting it in books, they're putting it on videos, they're putting it on every type of platform, social media platform. And Allah is saying, give a chance to listen and balance yourself. Balance your water, balance your fire and make the scale of your reality to be real. Doesn't mean you don't get angry but you can quickly ignite, you can quickly dissipate the fire and bring your angelic reality out. And as a result Allah will take you to Sidratul Muntaha, the highest, highest realities within that fire. Take you into Sidratul Muntaha is your breath. You'll see the lot tree. When the servant is able to, to control themselves, control their elements, every time they meditate They'll move deeper into their reality until their breath becomes the, the tree of the furthest bounty, boundary. Sidratul Muntaha where Prophet saw the tree of life as he's journeying towards Allah the Lord of power. You don't have that inside your bronchial tree? Your breath and your element, how you can master your breath if you're Narani and fiery? You can't, that's why then they give you crack and cigarettes and everything else to increase your narani. The smoking people, you th they're like a chimney making the fire ten thousand times worse. That's why shaykhs don't smoke, they don't even get near smoke because they, they're cherishing nafas rahmah that Allah gave to them of a Divinely breath that coming from paradise realities. Because of their element being balanced when they're meditating, Allah opening for them the tree of the furthest bounty. It is the tree of their life and Allah saying, from that tree in paradise begin to breathe. And every breath they bring in is a paradise breath, that's why it's called nafasa rahmah. Because it's from the paradise reality, Allah ignite for them their Sidratul Muntah. And they enter into that fire and they enter into that Divinely Presence and in their heart they are entering into Qawba Qawsaini O Adana. They're entering into all the realities that Sayyidina Muhammad was describing and Allah describing in Qur'an that, I'll show you first on the horizon and then i show you within yourself. That's for everything. The miraj on the outside first. Take your miraj inside. How are you going to the outer realities of Allah when we don't conquer the inner reality and the beast that's with me all the time? Is the beast running wild or is it fully domesticated and trained? And that is the path. There's no excuse for anger, there's no excuse for bad character. And whenever it comes all the practices are to come, all the elements are to be balanced. That's why the zikr, the washing, the meditating, the salawats is make excessive amounts of salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Why? So that your water element is very angelic. Because who Allah described also swims through your water. 
shaitan. Prophet described that shaitan runs through your blood. That's why you eat halal, drink halal. As soon as you drink and eat halal and fast, you restrict the water in your body and then shaitan has a hard time moving. So he's moving also through that water. So the only way to fight him in the water of your being is that you eat halal, drink halal, prey upon your food, fast often but most powerful is your durood sharif and your salawats. Because as soon as you're making durood sharif the angelic water is returning the salawats onto Sayyidina Muhammad because they have no nafs. As you're saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, the angels are reciting what you're reciting but at an angelic reality. So then what happens to your blood becomes ignited with light and nur. Your breath becomes ignited with light and nur and every breath coming in is blessed by Allah And with all that light inside every time shaitan tries to come to that servant is immediately beaten and doused and brought down. But if we don't do these practices and allow the burning man, why shaitan's festival is symbolic? Because everything we're teaching you're seeing on, on everything. Go on YouTube and see burning man festival. Why shaitan that's what he wants. He says, I hate you, I hate that Allah even made you. I'm going to make everybody come celebrate on how to burn you and that's his only intention. And everybody foolish people going and dancing around the satanic image that not knowing that, do you understand he's trying to burn you the most, the one whom dancing around it? They don't even understand what they're doing, you know. But then when you're taught you look back and see these crazy people, that's what the shaitan wants. And they're actually happy making tawaf around it, yeah we are, yeah, we are burning, we are burning, we are burning. And he's like, oh if you only knew what this really meant. And shaitan loves it, they don't know, they're jahal and ignorant people. Alhamdulillah that Allah guides and whom He guides, He guides. And the reason for that guidance is to control these elements. If this element doesn't control it's getting, it's getting more and more severe, more and more severe. All the badness that entering onto the earth, the energies, the difficulties, it's like a scale that you keep pushing more. You put more difficulty, less job, less work, less hope, more this, more injection this, more that, more this. Before you know that scale is so heavy with anger and rage and that's the time that everything sort of explodes. We pray that Allah give us an understanding, open within our hearts the zeal in which to want to fight against ourself, fight against these bad characteristics and to bring about the good characteristic in which Allah can open His heavenly kingdom for that nafs al in which a state Allah is going to ask that, are you satisfied? And if you're satisfied, I'm going to give you for my Divinely satisfaction. When Allah is rida with the soul, satisfied and content and happy with the struggle that person is putting upon themselves, Allah takes them to a station in which, I will satisfy you and ask, are you satisfied with these dresses, these lights and these blessings that are coming upon the soul? We pray that Allah dress us, bless us from these realities and give us the ability to actually begin to fight against these bad, bad characteristics. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.